gonna talk about that later, bro. Gonna say he, I already knew Gunner was gonna turn himself in though, cause like Gunner, Gunner's not really a part of this whole Rico charge. This whole he just he had the chain on, so you know they try to put two and two together, man. They try to ask him questions and shit like that, man. But he's facing twenty years in prison. Hold up, what the fuck? Let's check it out now. Holy! Now, no need. Holy! Wait, 20 years is crazy. I thought Gunner wasn't even a part of this. Like, like, damn. I already know Thug is facing maximum years. You feel me? But at the same time, I do believe that Thug could beat the case, though. But I was, I was thinking that Gunner was going to get, like, at least a year. Or, like you said, house arrest. You know what I'm saying? But... He's facing 20 years. I need to capture this picture. I can oh, tell you this AP. Okay, word. now, ladies and gentlemen, Sergio Kitchens, a.k.a. Wanna, a.k.a. Gunna, has actually turned himself in to the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, okay? He's charged with a count of conspiracy that could violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, which is known as RICO, and pretty much you're probably saying, man, we heard about all the stuff that Thug allegedly did. Thug tried to get wife and Lucci knocked off. Thug renting cars that dudes doing drive-bys in. What the heck did good old want to do? Now, some of y'all might be like, man, the only thing Gunner could be going to jail for is his fast. Fast, bro. Facts. If Melly could be his case, that mean anybody in the world can really beat their case, bro. You feel me? Like, real talk, though, because uh, Gunner. Melly being his case, I ain't gonna lie, it's type crazy though, bro. Melly being his case is type crazy. But at the same time, bro, Thug, lawyer, bro, that nigga said, man, we gonna fight with every, he said with every blood in his body, we gonna fight until we beat this case, bro. <laughs> so at the same time, these niggas so rich and successful just throw it away. I don't get it, bro. That's, that's the one thing I don't understand, bro, you feel me? Like, you moved on from this lifestyle, you know what I mean? You got the money, you got everything, bro. So why even still even be a part of it, bro? If it's not even, like, Doug. Doug, is, Doug wasn't directly a part of it, but he was like the kingpin. He was making moves. He was making all those chess moves. He was making people do this, do that, hire niggas to, you know, kill this nigga, kill that nigga. Like, come on, bro. Like, this nigga was trying to clean up the streets, bro. Doug was really trying to clean up the streets, y'all. What the heck did good old wanna do? Now, some of y'all might be like, man, the only thing Gunner could be going to jail for is his fashion fails, okay? You know what I mean? You know, he's always doing his thing with the fashion, but is Gunner really in the streets like that? Well, it don't even matter. According to the cops, he's been repping this gang. He's helping to make the gang money, even though he would claim it's a record label, but they're saying both could be true. It's a record label and a gang. They keep using words to call each other, slat all this type of stuff in their music, which, by the way, they use one of his music videos. And by the way, this DA, I believe this DA, her reputation's on the line, right? She's came out, and I'm going to do another video on it, saying, yo, she's going to use rappers' lyrics against them. She's using music videos. She's using sign language. She's using, you know, communications between people that some could argue is art. And she's saying, I'm going to put these people away for a very long time because this is the only way to prove that they're part of this conspiracy gang. This is what she kind of got on Gunna, and this is not all of it, but this is what they put in the initial indictment. They said, listen, Gunna, who's in the song. Just because, just because my man is rocking a chain, a slap chain, a YSL chain, this is why he's a part of this Rico, um, this Rico case, bro. Freedom of speech, word. Bro, they can't use your lyrics against you in the court of law, bro. They just can't, bro. You can't. No, it's, it's not It's not going to work, bro. It's not going to work. Even though these rappers are dumb. Even though these rappers are dumb rapping about what they did, but at the same time, you can't use their lyrics in court, bro. Associate of YSL, he's accused of appearing in a video released on social media titled Fox 5. He's rocking a YSL pendant and a slat pendant, okay? And he got lyrics that state stuff like, yo, we got 10 hundred round choppers. Now, according to the DA, they say that YSL and gangs like that, okay, that rappers, which, by the way, I thought this was Wakanda, T.I. That's what T.I. told me. But I, maybe it's not. They're saying that 70% of the crime happened in Atlanta is because these rappers are all getting gangs. And they're all pretty much financing some thug stuff. So basically. Bro, in Atlanta, right, is like. 
you could walk around with a firearm in Atlanta. You feel me? Like, like you could use your weapon in Atlanta. You get what I'm saying? That's why majority of the people is moving to Atlanta because it's like, you know, because you, you could use your gun down there, bro. Like, word. In other states, no. You feel me? In other states and cities, bro, no, you can't. You know what I'm saying? So everybody moving down to Atlanta and shit like that, bro. Word. I, I feel like that's the main reason why. The rappers made out the hood, but they all get a bunch of hood dudes around them and pay them to do basically crime. That's what they're saying. Now, let's back to Gunna. What is Gunna really accused of? Gunna is basically the guy who pretty much who is going to possibly go down for just being in the car. He ain't shoot at nobody. He ain't hop out to rob nobody. But that was that one time he should have probably just stayed home. <laughs> Being a part of YSL has got him caught up. And by the way, not everybody who was part of YSL got caught up. The DA made it very clear to say the ones that got caught up, they have contributed somewhat towards the, the gang's fame, notoriety, getting them money, or contributed to crime. We'll see what happens. Young Thug is waiting for bail. Gunner don't look too happy right here. I'm telling you, this situation is not P. However, when I hear these dudes rap, they do rap about all these situations. They rap about like, yo, if, yo, if I get caught, my lawyer beat the case, I got millions and millions. We'll see what happens, even though nobody wants to be in the situation. Again, you can't, you know what I mean? It, it, it comes with it. You know what I mean? If you're rapping about that type of stuff, you're involved in a lifestyle close to it, you got to imagine an indictment probably will come down at some point, okay? It's new for Atlanta. But we'll see what's gonna happen. All right, get a comment. Please guys, like them, subscribe, and Jackie. That makes Wanna is now in custody. Damn, twenty years is crazy. Facing up twenty years is type crazy, y'all. Uh.